Hi everyone, it's Jessica Fun from Fun in the Kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make this super simple dish. It's called hamachi kama and it's basically yellowtail grilled, but my secret, a toaster oven. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Fun in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make some simple seafood. It's so easy, you don't even need a kitchen. I'm going to make hamachi kama in a toaster oven. <laughs> so we're going to start off with some yellowtail, which is uh, basically hamachi collar. And this is about half pound. You can go up to a pound depending on how many people you're trying to serve. And it's really easy to prepare. You just take out your toaster oven tray and it's already lined with foil. And we're just gonna take some extra virgin olive oil and just place a little bit on the tray. We're gonna take this beautiful yellow tail and Spread it around there. And I'm gonna take a little bit of oil on top. And you just use your fork and spread it around. Just a little bit more. I think this is a really good meal if you're trying to impress somebody and you don't know how to cook. It's so simple, it's completely, I wanna say almost foolproof. And you pretty much just season it with a little bit of sea salt. We're going to do a little bit of salt bay action there. Don't put too much salt on it because we are going to make a special ponzu sauce for it and you don't want it over seasoned. You can always add but you can't take away. And I like to use some white pepper powder so that it doesn't uh, burn in the oven or the toaster oven and you just sprinkle a little bit on there. Uh, you want to make sure that the fish is complete completely coated, so I'm just gonna move it around a little bit. Let me set it away. And looks good. And we're just gonna wash our hands. Okay, so once our hands are nice and clean, we're going to, this is the difficult part, are you paying attention? Like. Seriously, are you paying attention? Because I, I need you to get this part right. So you open the toaster oven door, plop it in, and close it. Set it at about 400 degrees, and I'm gonna have the time for about five minutes so we can check in on it and flip it. It is important to have it cooking skin side down so that when we flip it over, it'll get a nice crisp, all right? Now that the hard part's done, we're gonna make the sauce and it's so easy. I'm gonna have my friend come and help me out. So, Jen, this is my good friend, Jennifer Schmidt, and she made me this beautiful kimono. So you can check it out at jenniferschmidt.com and she made her cute little tank top. And right now, we're gonna take a break while we wait for our hamachi to finish and take a little shot. So we got a little bit of Hakushu. Please sponsor me. Like, no, seriously, send me free bottles. <laughs> so I think I told you about this, right? Yeah. Uh, we have our special whiskey glasses. Let's do a quick shot. Cheers. Come, come pie. Come That's pie. what they say in Japanese for cheers. Mm. Oh, that's really good, huh? Very good. Okay. Very sweet. So let's set this aside and I'm going to show you how to make the sauce. Super duper easy. Um, can you pour? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it's like super duper easy. So pretty much uh, we have four main ingredients. We're going to use a little bit of toasted sesame oil and we have some soy sauce. You can use tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce if you're going gluten-free. 
And we have some chili oil, but I have this special fried chili oil. And I think that it just adds like an extra crunch to it. You can find it at your Asian markets. Um, pretty much it's about two tablespoons of sesame oil, two tablespoons of the soy sauce, and then about one tablespoon of the chili oil. If you want to add a little bit extra in the end, you definitely can. So all I need you to do is throw all of it into a bowl and stir. And while she does that, I'm just going to slice up a lemon. And we only need about half of a lemon. I'm going to pick the seeds out. Nobody wants seeds in their sauce. At least I don't. You doing okay there? Yeah. Do you need a break? No. <laughs> I got okay, it. Okay, are you done? So yeah. What did that take, like five seconds? Five seconds. <laughs> okay. I know, they, they're starving. We spent four hours prepping and maybe 15 minutes cooking. <laughs> are you good? good? Okay, so you can put I'll the spoon do. back over there. And I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime. I'm going to put the fork here just to catch any extra seeds that we might have. And our hamachi's cooking, you can hear it grill. So, all right, looks good. Do you want to stir for me, please? Sure. And while she does that, I'm going to slice up a jalapeno. Uh, this is just an extra added kick that you can serve it with. You can use a jalapeno or a serrano pepper or chili or nothing. If you're like a wuss and you can't handle the heat, just get out of my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jen, do you cook a lot? Yeah, I do. But yeah? not like how you do. Just... Yeah. I mean, it, it's so easy. Everybody thinks that you need to be a professional chef, but I wanted to show you guys something that was like simple and accessible that like anybody could cook. So this is a very, very easy dish. I, I usually like to order hamachi kama at the Japanese restaurants. And then I realized how easy it was to cook. <laughs> And it's just so simple, you just grill it, but it really is the sauce. So we're pretty much done. If um, you want, you can add a couple of uh, jalapeno in there. And I think that's it. And okay, let's check on our hamachi. Ooh. And it looks, <laughs> I know, doesn't it look good? It looks delicious. We're gonna flip that real quick. Whoa, give me some tongs. Okay. And depending on how well you want to cook it, I don't think it's going to need another, maybe not more than like three or four minutes. Oh, damn it. We finished the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's so good. It is. So you're all caught up on Netflix? Yeah. I've been um, watching these <laughs> Korean dramas called oh, Crash that's... Landing on You. I mean... There's nothing better to do in quarantine right now. So. It really isn't. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now we're back. <laughs> that literally only took about 10 minutes to make. Okay. So ooh, you ready? Yeah. You ready, let's ready? See, let's see. You ready, ready? I'm ready. Okay. Ooh, that smells so good. <sighs> I wish you could smell this right now. Okay. This is the tricky part. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks look really at that. Nice. Bam. So, our hamachi is done and we're gonna get ready to plate this. It literally only took 10 minutes in the toaster oven. Um, I like to make everything look pretty even though I didn't make much. I already have some pre-cooked rice so you can buy it and microwave it but I happen to have some, so I made it. I like to use the Japanese rice. And a trick that I like to use is I put this in a measuring cup and it's pre-measured, so you just tap it out. It just, it just looks so super pretty. It looks good. Do you wanna uh, plate the jalapenos for me? Sure. And you can serve it however you want if you're low carb, you don't need it. You know, I'm, I'm Asian, I need my rice. <laughs> and we have these um, beautiful radish shoots that I'm just going to, where should we put this? Do you want it in the front, the back? Let's put it here. Yeah, and that'll look good. God, this is so, look how easy that is. I mean, that's really pretty. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. No, this is so easy. <laughs> and um, if you want to add a salad, you just buy this from the store. This is a wakami salad. It's basically seaweed salad and 
you just add a little bit onto the side. It looks super duper pretty. Mm -hmm. I think we should put, put it on top. Yeah, put it on that top. That looks good. Yeah. Now that we're all starved, are you hungry right now? Yeah. Okay. We are ready to do some taste testing, and I have a fork for Thank you. Thank you. Whenever our napkin's ready, because mm -hmm. it's about to get a little messy. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna cut you your first piece. Let me stick it in. Oh, that looks really good. You don't eat the bones, but here you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Swap. Swap. Mmm, that's really good. What do you like about it? I like the um, like the smokiness of it. Uh huh. Um, it's really tender. Uh huh. It falls apart in your mouth, and the juiciness of it's really good. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try a little bit. Did you try a little bit with the sauce on it? No. Okay. I, I should this. though. I need to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. It, it is so juicy. I mean, yeah. yeah, very That's really amazing. Mm -hmm. Can we try some seaweed mm -hmm. salad with it? Do you think you can make this at home? Oh yeah, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like mm -hmm. hamachi kama. It just sounds so sexy. Like, hey, come over. I'm gonna make you <laughs> some hamachi kama. And you're like, whoa, what is that? <laughs> and you just totally feel mm -hmm. as though it's something that takes a lot of skill. Uh, but in actuality, it really didn't take a lot of time. Really didn't take a lot of prep super easy and as long as you like fish i i think it's a runner mm-hmm maybe hamachi and netflix <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining us until next time don't forget to have fun in the kitchen Do you think you could make this at home without oh, yeah. a kitchen? Oh yeah. Yeah? Toaster oven, door stuff. <laughs> I'm really good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm.